Maximum Memory Mastery, Module 4, Memory Methods, Lesson 1, Getting Started. This module is one of the most important and exciting in the entire program. The importance of this module is this is where you will learn a wide variety of the most powerful memory methods that are available. And the great thing about this is later on in the, in the program, in modules 5 through 9, you will then get to apply these methods to remember anything from presentations to financial statements to remembering a person's name and face. So the important thing to keep in mind is you're learning the methods now and you get to apply them through the remainder of the course. Lesson two, you'll learn one of the two loci methods, the Roman room method. The Roman room method has been around since at least 500 BC possibly even earlier. Lesson three, you'll learn another loci method, the journey method. Lesson four, you will learn the image method. And the image method means assigning a picture in your head to a more abstract concept like, for instance, a number. Lesson five is the major system. The major system is primarily focused on helping you remember complicated numbers. Lesson six is the peg system. The PEG system helps you remember things in order and leverages heavily the major system that you learn in lesson five. Lesson seven are homophones or sound alikes. You'll end up using these a lot more than you may think. And we give you some great examples of how to use these from remembering names to remembering other bits of information. Lesson eight is the chunking method. Chunking is used quite a bit, not only in memory, but also in accelerated learning. And it has a tag team partner, which is lesson nine, skimming method. You combine the two of these and you'll be amazed at how much easier it is to process complicated text and quickly assimilate it into your memory. Lesson 10 is mind mapping. Mind mapping was invented in 1970 and has since then grown to cover a wide variety of applications We've included a few of the most valuable ones later on in the program. Congratulations, you've completed lesson one of module four.